think before you send that message. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Getting in a little jam there. Today I want to talk about trolling and the real impact that it actually has. Trolling for me started in 2019. I was trolled pretty heavily on, t on Twitter. There was Bex, Stephanie, Holly, an anonymous account, my ex-landlord and Alice Corner. All of those people deserve to be in prison. What they said ruined my life and that there was just every little thing that I said or did they was commenting on saying how I was attention seeking, saying I was a munchie if you don't know what a munchie is, someone with munching housing syndrome which is a real mental health condition, shouldn't be thrown around as a label but my honest question to you when you're going to send a message just think about how it's going to impact the other person you don't know what state of mind they're in you don't know if it'll make them attempt suicide you don't know if it'll cause them to relapse with alcohol or drugs what you have control over is whether you send that message or not now if i was you i would never send an abusive message or something that could upset somebody i just saw the weirdest line having my window open is proving entertainment but what you need to do is really think about the message you're about to send and if it's gonna hurt somebody very simply don't send it yes you have a right to say your opinions and all of that you don't have the right to ruin someone else's life when i was trolled on twitter it was devastating it was one thing after another i couldn't even post a picture of the boxes of my medication without them commenting on oh well that's a lot to take my honest advice when it comes to sending messages is how will the other person take this? If you think they're going to take it and try to end their life, is it really worth sending? Do you want that responsibility? Because while it might not directly not be your fault, you are a cause that led the people, that led that person to suicide. And you have to live with that. If you send a message, be mindful of what the response is going to be. Because once you send it, you can't unsend it. 